uh, well, okay. So in 2008, I was 12 and um, I was two years into English secondary school um, in England. Uh, and when I was not in school, in English secondary school, I was uh, in my English home watching English television. <laughs> and on the English television, there was a thoroughly American inspired advert that I hadn't thought about in years. Um, until recently it just like popped in there um, and it was for Oasis not the band Oasis Maybe. this Oasis okay so uh, Oasis is a drink here in the UK that apparently it was invented in France um, it's widely available I don't usually buy it I bought it specifically today because I want to talk about an advert for Oasis so it, it is like a Coca-Cola offshoot. Um, and uh, for a while, in 2007, uh, it, it started having this tagline, which was for people who don't like water. And uh, it, that was pretty successful. They're like, ah, for people who don't like water, how successful? Let's expand on that. Let's expand on the people who don't like water tagline. And um, Coca-Cola GB ordered a certain ad campaign that I have been obsessed with for the past few days. Um, and that ad campaign was the story of the Cactus Kid. I don't do water. And neither does my man Cactus Kid. Cactus who? Cactus Kid. That freak. No! I love you, Cactus Kid. Nothing ever happens in this town, and then all of a sudden, bam! We're going to be together forever. I just, I know it. I, I just feel it. Reckon they're across the border by now. Oh my god, this guy's a cactus. Um, so the the like main meat of the ad campaign, the parts that I did see at the time, were um, the 30 second TV spots. So there was like four of them, um, and it's shot in like a 1950s road movie style, narrated by the protagonist who's a young girl, and it's supposed to be kind of based on Badlands, True Romance, which is based on Badlands. Um, it uses the same piece of music that's quite famous in both those films. And it tells a story of this girl and her new man, who is <laughs> named the Cactus Kid. And yeah, he's a half man, half cactus hybrid. He's making cactuses sexy again. Cactuses are now hot. <laughs> okay, so TV spot number one. Um, this is like our introduction. So I believe it was first shown on TV and uploaded to YouTube on the 3rd of July, 2008. Um, so in it, the girl is narrating, she's talking about her and her mum, saying how, Mum, I only want to drink Oasis now. Then she, she's like, also I'm pregnant and here's my baby daddy. And then the camera kind of comes around and we see the cactus kid himself and he's got an Oasis um, and he's looking, you know, big and buff and spiky and green. And uh, the mum chases him out of the house and then we see them in the car, he's driving and she's drinking her Oasis because these are adverts for Oasis. So that's the first one. Then the second. The second one was uploaded, aired on the 29th of July. So beginning of the month, then the end of the month. Um, in this one, they have stopped at a diner. 
Uh, the girl is feeling a mite parched, um, so she, she asks the waitress, Hey, I don't want any of that water, I want Oasis. The waitress goes away, she brings back the Oasis, and then she looks at a newspaper and sees, um... Uh, what did she see? She, the newspaper with the police sketch of the Cactus Kid. He's look. it's a very nice police sketch, he looks good. And then the couple, you know, while she's like, oh, It's them! The couple are like, oh my god, let's go! Um, and again, we see them driving away, he's like, duh, 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 and she's like, a glug, 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 because these are adverts for Oasis. The third one, from the 11th of August, is set in a motel. Um, they're staying there for the night, and she, we see her putting two bottles of Oasis in the mini fridge, and she, she takes the water that was in there and pours it onto a plant, because she's not got time for drinking water. And then cops arrive, because the cops have been after them the whole time, and they break down the door, but, oh, they're gone! Camera, zoom, ah, we see they're, like, stuck to the ceiling. Um, his spikes make him naturally as sticky as, like, Spider-Man. Um, like, I don't think how horrible it must be for her to be, like, held up there by his spiky arm. Yeah, that's that one. The fourth, uh, again, uploaded at the end of the month, so this is 20, 28th of August. This one is set in hospital. Um, she mentioned in the first one that she's pregnant and now she's given birth. Um, so either we've like skipped over nine months of time in a month of real time, or the gestation period for a cactus baby is not that long. Um, she is screaming, um, the, the cops are on the approach, we get to see a, quite frankly, um, mildly horrifying shot of her pregnant belly with like spikes, cactus spikes coming through it. Um, and then we we are spared the birth. We're spared the birth. It just cuts to them holding holding the baby, um, and then a girl in a yellow run, cactus kid run. So clearly she's like a fan. She's like I'm in support. Uh, she comes in and she's like the cops are coming. Um, at which point we get a shot of the door, the closed door, and um, text that says how will it end, and a link to vote, which was um, run cactus kid run. Whatever it says, you've seen it. So so those were all the parts that I saw on TV as a child. I don't remember if I actually saw all of them when they were coming out, like, at the time. I definitely remember the diner one, um, like, vividly in my mind. That could have been the only one I actually saw on TV, but, like, it stuck with me. Um, so, of course, then there were other bits that I didn't see, which was all the online stuff, um, including that, that vote um, for what would happen at the end. So they did make a lot of, like, websites specifically for this ad campaign, um, according to a blog, a blog spot. Uh, I wish I never saw the sunshine. Um, this person had worked on doing the ad campaign, so she listed, like, all of the things that had been made, the websites. Um, so there was, like, a fake website for um, Concerned Mothers Against Cactus Kids, so it was, like, M-A-C Kids Mac. Which actually leads to a bit of a um, life imitates art situation, as we will see. Um, then some kind of Google map search, find Cactus Kid. I assume you would have had to like, go on Google Maps and find him. Um, the the girl herself had a MySpace page, uh, and her handle is CactusGirl87. Um, I did go on it, but because MySpace has like sort of migrated from classic to something else. There's two photographs you can see, but it seems like there should have been more in the album. There is also like a, a, a sightings page on Flickr, um, which contains some pictures of homemade t-shirts, which we see on the girl in the fourth TV spot, the one who's wearing Run Cactus Kid Run. There's like a, a picture of a stand of them, and I wish I had one of those. I wish I was wearing that now. I'm wearing cactuses to like, you know, be in the vibe, but um, that would have been good to wear. Uh, there's just generally photos of the cactus kid like walking around they're capturing things like huh what is this whoa is this guy a cactus cactus guy spotted again that kind of thing um what else uh so they they had fake websites as well for the el pedregal restaurant and the america's motel both of which are locations that we see in the second and third um second and third tv spots um I tried them on the Wayback Machine, and some of the text is preserved, but there's no images. I imagine the formatting was probably more exciting than, like, Times New Roman on white background. Um, and that's a shame, because one of the websites 
apparently had a wanted poster and if I could have printed that out and had it here that would have been good I should have done that should have just made my own um so there was a wanted poster you could print out and I guess like put around your town free advertising for Oasis right so the videos are all also on um the YouTube channel the YouTube channel run cactus kid run which is still currently live on YouTube um and it's how I watched all the adverts it's up, um, but not only are there the TV spots, there are also these, like, Lonely Girl 15 style vlog entries from Cactus Girl herself. Um, so the first one, she's just talking about, oh, I hate living in this small town, I want to move out of the small town, nothing ever happens here. Um, and then it goes on to her talking about meeting the Cactus Kids, and she's like, oh, I met this guy, how amazing, somebody I can talk to somebody who also doesn't like water because we have to tie into the for people who don't drink water thing um um okay so then after that like sort of in between the tv spots being aired they were uploading more of these like uh, on the run style videos like she's got the camera pointed herself there is a clip of them like out and about just walking like as if somebody else has spotted them a bit like on the Flickr page but then there's more little vlog entries from her there's like a video where they're in a motel and they're like sitting on the bed together and and he keeps like sort of nudging her and like poking her with his spikes and she's like ow oh my god stop and it just makes me think like well they like boinked to get her pregnant so like if she's like ow stop every time he's like nudging her how on how on earth did they make it, you know, how on earth did they, <laughs> without him, like, spiking her? Or maybe she just, oh, maybe she's into it. Go kink shame. Um, anyways. Okay, 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 so, um, the final, the final TV spot. Uh, everything leads to the final TV spot. Um, so, at the end of the fourth one, as we saw, there was how will it end, and a link to vote. Um, so the public vote was for three possible endings that had already been filmed and it was just a case of selecting which one um, the public liked the best and there was um, a happy, a sad and a twist. Um, so each one of the endings was uploaded to YouTube on the 25th of September and presumably that is also when the like final one aired on TV um, and they begin the same way with the fourth TV spot, that's sort of like the first half of it. Um, so we've already seen it, the girl is giving birth, the cops arrive, and then at this point the ending diverges into three different branches. Um, so, in the happy, the cactus kid takes the girl in yellow, in a yellow t-shirt, um, hostage. He's got, like, got her around the neck and it turns out that she's the cop who's been after them's daughter. And then they all flee by a hospital car, the cop is like, oh my god, don't do anything, that's my daughter. Um, and the, the girl is like, haha, we took that cop's baby so that he couldn't take ours. Um, we see the couple in the front again. She's enjoying an oasis, but then the cop's daughter is in the back. She's holding the baby and she's like, happy. Um, and just so that we're absolutely clear on this, it was a consensual kidnapping. She's totally cool to go with them. And the protagonist girl is like, well, not that we really took her. Um, like, she seems quite pleased to be there, she's happy to, um, I guess to just come along and enjoy an oasis guzzling life with this couple and, I don't know, like, raise their child. Maybe this is like a polyamorous ending, you know, maybe they're like gonna thruple it out and raise this kid together. And that's a, that's a nice, that's a happy ending. I'm for that. Um, okay, then the sad, the sad ending. Um, which has an 18 plus rating uh, when you look at the YouTube title. Uh, so in the sad ending, the cops come in uh, and they just start shooting wildly. They shoot right through the door at, you know, the, c the cactus guy that they're after. But I assume the mum wanted her daughter to be returned to her alive. And the cops are like, ah, just shoot, just shoot, shoot first, ask questions later. Um, so we see the door riddled with bullet holes, uh, the cops open the door, and then we see the, um, the, the couple dead on the floor. Um, they're holding hands, it's very, like, tragic Romeo and Juliet. Um, there's still narration from the girl talking as though from beyond the grave. Um, and then the camera moves around and we see the nurse and the cop's daughter, like, 
cowering in the corner of the room and the cop daughter's holding the baby and she like, looks meaningfully into the camera like, oh my god, what's gonna happen now? Um, that's the end. But we as a viewer, you know, if you pick that ending, you're just, well, that's terrible, that's so sad, and now she's gotta raise this cactus baby or all alone? What's gonna happen? Um, I, not, not a fan and I wouldn't have voted for that one. Um, and then the third, the third one is the twist. Uh, in the twist ending, which the one, that's the one that got picked. That's the one that was chosen by public vote. Um, so the couple, they've had the baby and they try and flee. So they, they're running, they're sort of hiding outside behind a window. Um, but they get cornered by the cop. He sees them and he's like, Hur -hur, smiling deviously at them with his, his little smile. Um, but then it like sort of cuts to the cop like talking to his boss. And his boss is like, where are they? And he's like, well, I don't know. And then the, the girl's narration is like, she's saying, ah, oh, I never saw a guardian angel with a mustache. Um, and I presume that this means that like the cop was like bought off by, they, they must have given him an oasis because then we see him drinking an oasis. Um, they gave him an oasis. He was like, oh, this is fantastic actually. Uh, I, I understand now what you guys are all about and I'm going to let you go. Um, excuse me. Um, so, so yeah, um, then we see the couple driving away, but we don't see the baby. And I'm like, where's the baby in this ending? Like, either the baby is safely tucked in the back in a car seat and we're just like, yep, yeah, that's fine, the baby's fine, but we don't see it. So my other thought, this is quite unpleasant, my thought was like, well, God, he was drinking an oasis. Where did he get that oasis? They they weren't holding an oasis in the hospital room where they maybe they were um but my mind was like did they juice the baby like it's oasis is this cactus baby juice like uh, uh, uh. <laughs> because we don't see the baby i couldn't help but be like well where did he get that oasis and where's the baby and is oasis baby juice um to be quite honest i i don't know why this was the ending that everybody picked uh, I know that we were kind of edgy back in the day. It's like, oh, happy endings are so lame. But like, I would have voted for the happy ending because uh, this isn't exactly a sad ending unless it really is about like juicing the baby um, because they get away. Like, it's just another happy ending. I don't really get how it's a twist unless it was supposed to be that the cop was actually on their side all along. I just, I don't know. I don't feel like the, the twist really works that well. Um, I'm not about a twist. I know it was 2008, but like, I feel like we're past this now, the, the twist nonsense. Yeah. So those are all the ads. And now, do you remember how I mentioned that, um, that there was like a fake page, Mothers Against Cactus Kid? Well, there was also real Mothers Against Cactus Kid, or as far as I can tell, six members of the public who wrote in like, oh no. According to some articles I found from the time, uh, six members of the public complain to the Advertising Standards Agency, ASA. Obviously, the similarities to the film Badlands are undeniable because it's clearly an homage to Badlands. Uh, in that film, the protagonist is a 15-year-old girl, like Sissy Spacek. I don't know how old she was, but she was playing 15. And then the guy that she gets with um, is 25. So it's like, oh, okay, that's not very appropriate. Um, so the girl in the Oasis ads does look young. Articles I read said that the director stated the girl was intended to be 20 years old. Um, and you can find sort of evidence for this because um, of, on her MySpace, and I assume when the YouTube page was first live, her username is cactusgirl87. So we could take that to mean she was born in 1987, which at the time would have made her 20 or 21. But you know, I mean like, those aren't, that isn't something that the TV audience is going to see or know about. And anyway, the point is that she looks young. Um, she does look young. And um, so these people who wrote in complaining, they thought that these adverts were promoting um, underage sex and teenage pregnancy. Uh, that was the concern there. So um, the, the ASA were brought in to assess. And in early October of 2008, the adverts were pulled from TV on account of the teen pregnancy concerns. I believe that there were also posters in circulation that were like torn off the torn off the bus stops. Can't have that. 
<laughs> Another point was the ASA said the advert did suggest that water was being rejected um, and that this was irresponsible and could discourage good dietary practice. Which, yeah, I mean, <laughs> they are kind of like poo poo water drink oasis. Um, so that's that. there's a con controversy there um, about the. Not only the water drinking, but the, the pregnancy. Not only the pregnancy, but the water drinking. You've got to drink water. Um, okay. With regards to the like ad campaign itself, it, the entire thing was spearheaded by a, a London-based ad company called Mother. Um, a guy called Mike Maguire. That's a pretty common name. I couldn't find anything specific on a director by the name of Mike Maguire. Um, and then wardrobe styling by a lady called Alejandra Carlos. Um, her website actually has lots of stuff, and she made the Run Cactus Run t-shirts. Then, so yes, yeah, Stan Winston Studios was responsible for creating makeup effects. Um, so that was the Cactus Kid and the fake Cactus Baby. Um, which, to be honest, I, I like the baby. I think it's quite cute in like a little weird alien way. Uh, there's a clip of a, like the nurse holding it, and she's... This doesn't mean this doesn't mean big baby cactus. I got wish. It's cute. I, I like it. Um, and then there is also like a time lapse video on the YouTube channel as well of the makeup being applied to the actor. His name is uh, Roman Guzman. <laughs> Roman like being made up as the cactus kid four hours of work every day for a grand total of maybe like five five minutes of content um or sort of across the board depending on how long you look at the still photos of uh the cactus kid actually that could be longer but i do think the cactus kid makeup is quite impressive i think he looks you know dateable like he's got sort of this broody james dean you know badlands references um broody james dean sort of vibe going on, like he's leaning against counters, he's looking buff as well as spiky, uh, he doesn't say anything, I don't think, across any of the videos, he's just sort of like, um, strong and silent and... I don't know, like, he could sweep me away. Okay, now it's time for my final thoughts. My final thoughts. My final thoughts are that, to be honest, this is just so bizarre. I, I, I'm like so weird and I know a lot of adverts sort of that remain in public consciousness are the really weird ones like um, Burger King, you know with the mask or um, I, that Waza advert if, if you know what I'm talking about there But uh, I mean I guess the, the big ones that people remember while weird are also usually American I feel like there's a lot of kooky strange advertising from England that I remember really vividly but I can't find a any evidence of or b like um, any other people recollection of. And I watched a lot of television as a child and a lot of adverts as a kid, so maybe I just had a particularly television-saturated childhood and that's why I remember but nobody else does. Um, this is one that I think more people need to know about because cactuses are sexy. Um, <laughs> and to be honest, like I, I was almost hoping when I typed in Cactus Kid Oasis advert that maybe some like big name YouTuber had already made a whole video essay about it and I could just be like, mm-hmm, I agree. So weird, right? Um, but if it's up to me, then it's up to me. Um, uh, yeah, like I personally really like a good cross-platform multimedia narrative advertising campaign. I I think if, if I remembered that this existed at the time I was doing my media studies A-level, I would have written like a whole essay on why this is fantastic. Um, the, the creativity, the, all of it as like a um, media studies essay. So um, Mr. Price Newton and Mr. Morgan, if you're seeing this video, um, I'll still write that essay. <laughs> yeah, I, I just think it's brilliant. I, I know Oasis did other adverts later on, like uh, Rubber Duck Zilla, which I think perhaps more people will recognize. <laughs> But this is the one for me. The, I, I just, I've been obsessed with it for the past couple of days. Just keep thinking about it. Um, I drew fan art. 
<laughs> have a look at my fan art. I'm an internet artist, so I felt like I had to. Um, uh, you know, this is a weird video for me to be making because my videos have mostly been about being an internet artist. Or about my clothes. Ah! I wish I knew, actually, who the, the girl playing the main character is. What she's doing, you know, what was her life like after Cactus Kid? I want to know, are any of those Run Cactus Kid t-shirts still around anywhere? I wonder if they actually filmed in um, Mexico, I wonder if they're just like out there now in Mexican thrift shops or people's wardrobes or something. I, just, I wish I knew. But yeah, I suppose just, I think it's really fun. I love these adverts. I desperately wish that Wayback Machine was a bit better at archiving um, the imagery because I want to know what the pages actually look like. If anybody else remembers this, my algorithmically encouraging question is, is anybody out there who also remembers these adverts? I know that they're not fake because I've just shown you them and they are real. I didn't make them up. Did you see them? Do you recognize them? Did you like place a vote? Which ending did you vote for? Um, presumably though, if you're watching this, you're outside of the UK. This is the first time you've seen them. Um, do you now thirst for Oasis? Has me wiggling this bottle around the whole time made you want to drink it? I haven't actually. I'm going to give it a taste. I don't usually buy these, but my mum often does. So sometimes, like, I would, especially when I was younger, like, if she bought a meal deal for herself while she was at work, then come home with, like, half an oasis, I'll be like, can I finish this? Um, it's fine. It's very sugary. Um, it's 11% of my daily sugar intake. Um... Summer Fruits flavour I think is probably the best one. I've had different flavours, didn't really like them. It's kind of Ribena-esque. It's sort of like drinking a cordial that you didn't have to dilute. Um, it's totally fine. Um, yeah. Anyway, do, do you thirst for this now? Do you want this? Do you thirst for the Cactus Man? Do you want him? Um, does all of this make you think I'm swearing off water forever? I only drink Oasis. Um, do you even have Oasis where you live? Uh, I don't know how global it is. Anyway, um... Don't you want to date Cactus Man? Right. That's it. That's all I have to say. Um, thank you for watching. If you've made it this far, thank you. Um, you will see me again if there's another one. Goodbye.